Hello, welcome to the Backwoodsman's Institute. My name is Scott Fromey. Well, this evening I'm fishing, and I'm actually fishing a small form pond. And I'm, when I say small, I'm talking one that maybe with a heavy lure you could cast all the way across it. And I feel that those little form ponds are probably some of the most overlooked fishing that we have. You know, as far as fishermen, we think we have to be in the big lakes and, and the waters, but a lot of times, there's a lot of fun to be had in the small form ponds. You know, like for instance here, you know, you may not catch humongous fish, but I, what I got here is, you know, I caught already in about an hour's time, I caught about a two pound bass, two or three pound bass, some bluegill, some about probably about 10 inch other bass. And 10 inch bass, I mean, it's pretty good tasting. They're a lot better tasting than the bigger bass. So, and I keep them and it's one thing to, to Keep everything you catch. You know, a lot of times a little farm pond, if, if it's not fished heavy enough, it has a tendency to overpopulate. So you're actually helping it out by keeping everything you can possibly keep. If it's if it's too little, too little leet, well, maybe it might be used for bait or, or turtle bait or something like that. So I try and keep everything out of a little farm pond. Now, there are several things that I've learned over the years, if you're going to be fishing small farm ponds, that you're going to take in consideration at least to help you out. Most form ponds are in a secluded area. They don't get a whole lot of action, a whole lot of commotion. So when you come into a form pond and you're rattling your tackle or you're slamming truck doors or making all kinds of noise, the fish that are in there know something's up and they, they may spook a little bit. So you have a better chance if you can kind of go into it easy, kind of sneak into it and you know, don't quite stir up all kinds of commotion and noise. The next thing, you know, if you wear like, you know, natural toned uh, clothing to kind of blend in a little bit, you know, a white t-shirt or a bright colored, you know, they can actually see that. They can see, you know, I got some form ponds that I was, would feed catfish in. i tell you what, they can see you coming from a long ways off, believe it or not. You can see the, the ripples coming across the water when it's time to you know, when they were looking for you to come feed. So I learned from that, you know, that, hey, if I'm blending in, move in, move in nice and easy, not make a whole lot of commotion, I have a lot more success. And the other thing, you know, as far as tackle goes, go light. Go ultra light, really. If you really want to have fun, go ultra light. Let me show you some of my equipment that and tackle that I take along with me. Okay, I'll show you just a little bit of the example of some of the tackle that I would use as far as ultralight with rigs. Beetle spins. Beetle spins are great because you can, like I said, bass or bluegill, panfish, sometimes a little crappie, even catfish bite on beetle spins. Another another lure that I like to use is maybe a little bitty crankbait. These little baits are, are killers as far as in a little small, small farm pond because to actually bait fish and the bait and the bugs that they're having are little small bugs. So like I said, you're matching what they're actually used to. If you throw a big plug out there, you have a tendency to spook them or scare them. It's like, they're like, wow, what the heck is that big thing? But when you throw out something small, like a crank or a beetle spin or any kind of little, just go light, go really light. Natural bait's good too. If you're gonna be going that way, crickets, worms obviously works. But as far as if you gotta drag a lot of stuff in into a secluded little form pond, like I said, I like light tackle and I carry a few little jigs with me or, or beetle spins and some, some crankbaits with me. So let me go ahead and show you the pole I got. Okay, this, one, this pole here is actually an ultralight, but the thing about it is it's collapsible. So I can go ahead and I got a little box that I carry it with and it folds up just like that with probably about four to six pound tests. I kind of like six pound in case I, I get a snag out there or something and I get, get really got a torque down on it or you get a pretty good sized catfish and a lot of these holes carry a lot of pretty good size you know several pound catfish and put up a heck of a fight and those are really fun on like ultra light stuff here's the box that it comes in and it's got compartments in there where i can keep my baits close it up it's all in here and off i go all i really need is a fish basket or or a string or some something to carry my fish back with me and this rod and reel kit so 
I bought it several years ago. I still assume that they would make stuff like this. Don't overlook the little old farm ponds. They got a whole lot of fishing action in there just waiting for you. Like I said, a lot of them are secluded. They're not used to a whole lot of noise and, and commotion. So kind of do your sneak, come in there, wear kind of natural colors so you're just not too bright. They can't really see it too good. And uh, like I said, go ultra light. So don't overlook them farm ponds. Catch you out in the woods.